Hello, so we're on day two now of having fern and it's about six in the afternoon, evening. Um, I filmed what I'm about to film yesterday on a, a different camera that, and it hasn't worked, yet. no sound with it. So I'm going to film it again. But just bear in mind that the process I'm going to show you has already been only been going on for three meal times. So meal times is the is an ideal opportunity to train a dog. A lot of people have got food in a bowl and they just put it down in the corner and let the dog go and get it. But if you use it as a training aid or a training opportunity, you're going to have two or three or four opportunities to train your dog every day that you, you haven't usually taken advantage of. So, what I've done with the food, there's a meat in a bowl, I hope you can see that, in tiny, oh yeah, yeah, in tiny little portions, big enough for a mouth. Now part of the training further down the line, or part of something that's going to help me make her training easier and better and help her learn easier, is by using something that's called markers. And two of the markers I use is the word good. And I say it like that because at no other time in my life do I say good. Like good, because it's really cheesy. And another one is using a clicker. Um, and... All I'm doing for now is laying the foundations with Fern, the association that if I click this, or if I say good, then she gets some food as a reward. And then later down the line, once she's learned that, if she does something good, I can give a click or I can say good, and she knows she's done something good and she's going to get some food or payment for whatever she did. Um, she knows now because she's seen the ball. Hey up now, you ninja, that it's dinner time, so what I'm going to do is feed her. At the same time as feeding her, I'm trying to build an association in her mind that this cage equals food, and food is good, so this cage is good. Because I don't want to think, oh, this cage is horrible, they put me in here and leave me in here. I want to think, this cage is great, all good things happen in there, I never get shouted at in there, nothing bad ever happens, it's always good. So. I'm going to have the food in my hand, I'm only going to feed it to her, or let her have it, when all four feet are in the cage, and when she's facing me, because I always want her facing me. And I'm just going to keep repeating it, I'm going to say the word, or the marker, and then a split second later I'm going to release the food, I'm just going to keep doing that, for thousands and thousands of times until it goes into her head. So, we'll start here. She's already learned slightly that if she goes in the cage, it's good, so... Get out of the way, you pig. Switch this, switch this. Good. Good girl. And again, I'm going to entice her out and entice her back in. Facing me, four feet in. Good. I'll mix it up. i use a clicker. Come on in. Is this? Is this? Good. I'm going to out. So she learns to go back in for good things. I'm going to mix and match the word good or the click. Where's this? Where's this? Good girl, where's this? So she's facing in my direction. All four feet are in the cage. Good. I'm not giving any words of command. I'm not telling her to go in a cage. I'm not expecting her to be calm. I'm not expecting her to be gentle as she's taking the food from my hand. She can chew my fingers off for all fair at this point. I just want her to learn. The clip means food and the cage means food. Come on in, come on in. You piglet. This is, this is, this is. Good. You are a gannet. This is where the food is. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Good. Good key. Good key. Good. What's this? What's this? Good. The reason I say good is because no matter if I'm angry or sad or happy or tired. My emotion doesn't come into that. So one day it's not, oh, good. And one day it's not, good. 
It's always going to be the same. Good. So I can't affect with my mood how I say it. Because it's just a sound to the dog. It's not a word. What's this? What's this? There's a good gear. Good gear. Just repeating over and over and over every day, day in, day out, until she learns with that click and the sound. Good means there's a payment coming, and we're doing it in a cage so she learns that the cage is good and happy and positive. Is it? Is it? doing it so she's facing me just to build that into her mind straight away that good things happen if I face my dad. If I face away from him, nothing good happens. But if I face towards him, loads of good things happen. Good. Where's that waggly tail? There's that waggly tail. Good. Tiny bit left. I always like to let my hand because it's just covered in meat. And then give her the bowl at the end. And then she can see then once that bowl's gone, that's that's it. Dinner time's over. What I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna put her in a cage and shut the door and give it 10, 15, or 20 minutes, and then we're gonna let her out out. Take her to the place where she should have a poo and just put her down there. No conversation. No excitement, not let her wander too far and just wait till she does a poo and praise her for it. And if she doesn't, back in, into the cage and repeat every 15 or 20 minutes. And we'll see you next time.